Today we're up at Joe Wright Creek performing our annual grayling spawn operation. It consists every year of coming up to Joe Wright Reservoir and Joe Wright Creek when the grayling pile out of the reservoir up the creek. We catch them using backpack electrofishing units, sort them into males and females, and then spawn them here on the side of the creek. The grayling have not a really long history in Colorado, but a pretty interesting one. They were brought in from Montana, so Arctic grayling are not native to Colorado anywhere. We brought them in from Montana. They were stocked in the 80s in Zimmerman Lake, which is right up the hill there behind me. Zimmerman Creek feeds Joe Wright Reservoir, and grayling got out of Zimmerman Lake and filtered down the creek to Joe Wright Reservoir, where over the course of about six years, they really exploded in population number. They became the dominant fish in Joe Wright Reservoir, and now our, our brood stock and we've been spawning them now for gosh around 25 years out of Joe Wright Reservoir. This year 2021 we've assembled a sizable crew. Uh, there's probably around 20 of us up here today to pull off the operation. It consists of the electrofishing and the gathering of the fish, the sorting of the fish, and then once we have all the fish sorted we spawn them on the side of the creek here and it's, it's all hands on deck. It's one of my funnest days of the year. It's just a cool operation. They're really pretty fish, and it's really awesome to be able to perpetuate this resource for Colorado anglers. So the 2021 grayling request statewide is 140,000 eggs. So we've been averaging around 1,000 eggs per female in the past few years. So that's 140 females we need to spawn today. 100,000 of those eggs will go to the Glenwood Springs hatchery and 40,000 will go to Salida. The grayling we spawn today will be stocked out as one to two inch fish in September. They'll go to a handful of lakes, I think around eight or 10 for 2021. The growth rates depend on, on where they're stocked. We actually do not stock a single grayling in Joe Wright Reservoir. So this entire population, our brood stock is maintained through natural reproduction in the creeks right here, which is pretty awesome. Typical growth rates in Joe Wright, it will take around three to four years for these fish to get of spawning size. And so we're taking length data by by sex, so we're looking at males, getting length on males, and then getting length on females. And what that allows us to look at is just kind of length distribution by sex. And then we also usually sample Joe Wright Reservoir proper itself with gill nets in the, in the fall, in September. And between this sampling event and that sampling event in September, we're able to look at that data in terms of catch per unit effort in the gill nets and overall size structure and say, okay, numbers are up or numbers are down. And then using the length data, we can also say, okay, we have a really strong year class from the 2018 fish. We know these 10 inch fish are 2018 in, or 2018 year class cohort fish. And we can kind of get a sense for future spawning runs that way. So angling for grayling, it's really a, a unique fish in Colorado. You know, they're in probably maybe around 20, or 20 water bodies around the state. 
Um, they're just a really pretty fish. You know, they can get up to like 16 inches. Typical for typical grayling and Joe Wright reservoirs, probably between 12 and 14 inches. Yeah, Joe Wright Reservoir as a brood stock is in great condition. There's actually more grayling out there than we than we really would like, to be honest. Uh, we, a number of years ago, probably around a decade ago, started stocking some predator fish in the reservoir. Tiger muskie and tiger trout in relatively low numbers. Uh, but the ultimate goal with that was to thin out grayling numbers. So. Our size structure, our average size had decreased to the point we felt the population was stunted. So the reservoir has a finite amount of resources. You get a lot of fish in there and there's fewer resources to go around so your average size is smaller. If you end up, if you have fewer fish in the reservoir, there's more resources per fish and you can generally grow a larger individual. And with our brood, lot, brood lake, we would prefer to have a mix of many year classes of fish but some larger individuals and bigger adults to carry more eggs per female. And so we've actually stocked tiger muskie and tiger trout in Joe Wright Reservoir to try to thin out grayling a little bit. And it's been working over the last decade. We've seen that average size and our max size creep up that we sample in our standardized nets in September. So it appears to be working. It's certainly a fine management line. You don't want too many teeth out there and lose too many grayling since it is our brood brood lake but we feel like we're walking the line pretty well right now and are happy with where the reservoir is at. 